Hello everyone, it's Angie. <clears throat> How's everyone doing today? Hope everybody's well and good spirits. Coming on to do 31 days of Christmas journal makes. Today is day four and I thought we would make, last couple days we've been making tags, so I thought today we'd make a, a fun little pocket, um, Christmas pocket to um, put those tags in, okay? Um, so today I thought we would use some book page for the base and then we'll decorate it, you know, with a Christmas theme. Um, but simple pocket, but I'm calling it um, just a funky fold pocket, okay? And I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, I'm starting with a piece of book page that is nine by four and a half, just about four and a half, okay? And I have it two pages thick, okay? I usually, when I use use book page I usually do two of them so it gives you a good little sturdy piece to work with okay and then I chose to do four and a half here because that'd be a nice good deep sized pocket okay and then what I thought I would do is to give ourselves a good mm, about three and a half inches wide for the pocket space for a nice good size tag I thought we would go about, say, about two and a half inches in from each side. So one, two, two and a half inches. And then I'm just going to fold that. Okay. And then maybe let's see what two and a half inches this way would give us. If we go two and a half inches this way, that would give us three and three fourths. Maybe we'll come in just a little bit more. Let's see. About, we'll go to about two and three fourths way in. So two and a half inches from the left and score and two and three fourths from the right and score. Okay, because we definitely want a little bit of overlap. See, we've got about a little bit of an overlap there for our folds, okay? Um, now at this point, you have to decide if you want to go with um, book page exposed from to the inside of the pocket or if you think you want to line it with some um, designer Christmas paper. I think I like the look of the um, book page on the inside, but then we'll do the outside with some Christmas papers. So before we do that, um, we can either fold our flaps in to make our pocket or you can just cut it. I choose to fold it. All that's going to do is just reinforce that pocket and make it that much more sturdy. Okay, so what I thought was on the short side, the two and a half inch side, we would just go right in just almost to the crease line and we'll do a simple straight fold just like that. Okay, then we want to glue that in. So we'll take some glue and just glue that flap down. Okay. And that's gonna go in this way. Then this way, this is where I say it's a funky fold. Instead of just doing this just like that and just have like a um, triangle side pocket, let's just do just a, you know, just like a weird little fold. It doesn't have to be exact. Let's just kind of fold it, you know, and do it however you want. Just a funky fold, just something like that. And then maybe we'll come in and angle that one down like so and do a little funky fold like that. Well, let's not take that quite so far. I think I wanna come down a little bit, I think. Get that straight, there we go. Okay, and all that's gonna do is add interest and take your eye to looking at something else, and that's what we want. You know, we want to catch that person's attention. We want them to say, oh, that's different. Oh, I like that. Oh, how'd they do that? And by just doing a different fold here and there, that's all it is. It's just a simple pocket, but just doing not such a straight fold. And it just makes it that much more interesting, okay? So then we're gonna fold that, uh, glue that down. And that tore on me a little bit. So let me glue both of those together. And then we're gonna glue that down, okay? Okay, and there we've got our pocket. 
doesn't look like much now but once we get it decorated it will look a lot better okay so now um i did uh two thicknesses of uh book page again and i thought that would be good for a tag to go inside okay but we're going to concentrate on the pocket right now okay so let's get that decorated i have a stack of christmas themed papers here six by six so and I thought we would do, let's mix some patterns, you know, not necessarily, um, oh, I like that, not necessarily two that might go, just, you know, let's just pick a couple, couple different, um, couple different designs and see if we can get them to, how about that, something like that right there, okay? So now from there, what we want to do is just, we're going to, um, layer the top two pieces okay so all i'm going to do for that is i'm just going to line this up with this flap and i am going to do a simple trace if i can find my pencil there we go and then i will cut it down okay so i'll just do a little simple trace just like that and I'll come inside the pencil line just a little bit because I want a little bit of, I don't want it to be exactly right on the line. So, and we're just going to line those flaps. That's all we're going to do. See what we can come up with, okay? So there we go, just like that. Very nice, okay? We're going to do the same with the other side. Line this right up. do a quick little trace and we'll cut it out Hopefully I got that somewhat straight Looks good. And I do want just a sliver of the edge to show. See this right there? So for that, I'm gonna have to take off just, just a hair off of this edge. I want you to actually, actually be able to tell that we used book page, you know? So I wanna see a little bit just peeking out all the way around. Give it that vintage look, that vintage feel. And I think that'll do it. So that'll go down there. And that'll go down there. And then we just got to decide which do we want. And I think I want this to be the top flap. So we can actually see that fold. And look at that. Isn't that nice? We got mixing patterns, three different designs. But look at how well they go together, I think. Very nice. Okay. So let's put that down. And then we will seal up our pocket. Get it inked up. Or actually, we should probably ink it up now before we close it up. And you don't have to use vintage photo if you don't want, if you have a pretty red. Um, I know uh, Tim Holtz has a wide variety of colors. I don't have a big selection of his colors, but um, I do want to kind of get that vintage feel, so I'm going to go ahead and stick to um, the vintage photo color on this, but you know, feel free if you want to try something like this, you use a red or a blue, a green. I mean, they're all Christmas colors. They're all Christmas colors. And we don't really have to worry too much about the back because the, you know, this is a pocket and it's going to get, um, adhered down to a page. But since I'm on a roll, I'll go ahead and just go all the way around. But you don't really need to. Okay. So there we go. And now let's get this glued down. Okay. Okay, and that is sticking over just a hair, so I'm going to trim that down. Okay. And 
it's just the smallest piece, but it will bother me if I don't do it. So and let's go ahead and get this one down. laid down there we go. And I think I still need to trim a little bit off of here just a smidge there we go okay now we're gonna glue right across the bottom here of two flaps, the middle and the left, or the middle and the right, whichever. Okay, so put that down, and then come across the other one, and then glue that one down. And we've got this construction of our funky fold pocket, Christmas pocket. Now, from here, we can just glue this little top portion right here, and we can have us an additional tuck spot here if you like, or you can glue it all the way down, which is what I'm gonna do. But if you wanted to, just glue this top little part here, and you have another little tuck spot there. Totally, totally your choice, okay? But I think it's just really cute, just just having a um, not such so traditional um, designed pocket. I think that makes a statement in itself. Okay, so there's our pocket. So we're finished is little, almost three and three fourths inch wide, and it's four and a half inches in depth. So that'll hold a nice, good size tag or journal card, whatever you want to put in there, or even a couple because it's good and sturdy. You could probably get two pieces or three pieces um, of ephemera in there. Okay, so that's that. So now let's get it decorated. Let's see. Um, definitely want to bring in a little bit more ink to these outer edges. I think that looks very nice. Um, what do we want to do? Let me look through my pile here. Hmm. Candy canes. I think we used one of those already, didn't we? Let's see if we can find something else. how this looks. Put that away. These little Merry Christmas glittery things. That might be nice. What if we just put one right there? That's cute. And I have, hold on just a second, it's over here on the floor. Let me grab it. I've got some of this little ribbon, I guess you would call it. Um, left. I've been using a little bit as you can see here and there on projects throughout the last couple of years. What if we just run a piece of this? That's cute. Let's do that. And I want to cut it right in between loops so it doesn't, you know, it's not cut and you got a half of a loop. So I'm going to try and center that um, as best I can here. Come in just a tad. As you can see on this one, we're gonna have to glue that down to get it to get it to stay so the fringe doesn't come apart. So we're gonna put a little glue on there. Okay. 
give that a second to catch on. Hopefully it will. And we'll run some glue along the bottom here. Tuck that behind, kind of get a little extra hold on there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I can definitely go with that. And then if we put this and I wish I had some Christmas labels. I don't have any Christmas labels at all. I'm going to have to um, before maybe tomorrow's video Go find on Etsy, do a search for some Christmas videos. So if you guys know anyone that has some really nice um, Christmas labels, digitals, let me know. Leave their um, shop, their name and their shop um, in the comments below. I will definitely take a look because I have none. But I thought a Christmas label would look really pretty right there. Um, I mean, we could make one with just a piece of scrap paper. But mm -mm. I got these trees. Let me take a look. Well, that's cute. Let's do that. On there. Well, some lace would look nice too, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's just put that right there. This is just, it's like a little plastic uh, um, primer piece. Maybe we'll put that right up on top and make sure that's straight if I can. Yeah. Um, let's see what I have in here. I think that's good right there. Okay. We're just gonna leave that as is. Let's um, oops, let's decorate our tag real quick. Now we can make a decision. Do we want to kind of go with some of the same patterns that we have in our pocket, or do we want to go with a totally different look? Um, since we're mixing patterns, I would say because I mean that'll give you kind of an idea of how it's gonna look. Um, I say let's go with a whole nother pattern. And we got a lot of red and green, so maybe we can. Change it up. We want to go. I don't know if that'll so well, go so well. Let's see. Um, blues and greens. Let's see what else we got here. That one looks kind of close to the. Maybe something completely. Yeah, that's kind of ties in with the tree, doesn't it? Let's go with that one. Okay, so we're just gonna use this since I already have it cut um, and glued. So that's a little over three by five. So I need to cut this down to a little bit less than three by five, a little bit less than five how that looks that works okay for a base and then we'll put something on top and if we want to sh trim the ends and um, make diagonal corners or if we want to round the corners whatever we want to do at this point probably do that now I 
think I want my want my tags and pockets to all be a little bit different, so I'll just leave this one squared. And let's see. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. If I can get it straight. Okay, that's better. Put a little bit more glue though. Here. Okay. And we'll ink that up. Yeah, that looks good with that dark. Yeah, it just kind of balances out all that red, doesn't it? Okay, so now we need a tab. And I have some circles here. Let's see if there's any of these circles that I can use in this pile of scraps right here so far. Here's one. There's a couple of them. Let's see what I've got here. I think the green one. I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm going to nip off Well, that's not going to work. And I'm just going to kind of do a faux whale tail. And I usually use my cutter for this, but I have it handy, but that'll work just fine, okay? So let's ink that up. Okay. And decide what we want to put on our tag. And if we wanted to, we can take it a step further and put a little stitch. We could do faux stitching, whatever you want to do. And I do like the stitched look, but I don't want them all to be the same. And I just, the last ones we did, we stitched, I think. So we'll skip this one. We'll leave that. So that will sit in just like that. And then when you get done, and you will just mount it right to your page, like so. And you can have it to where it hangs over if you want, or bring it up. And all in the, all in the way that you um, glue it down to your page, you have one pocket. Or you can just glue the three sides, and then you can have an additional pocket there. Or glue these three sides, and you have a tuck, tuck spot this way. So I like that idea. Glue it down these three ways, then you have a tag, some a piece of coming out this way. You have another tall one, make it a little bit taller, so it sits higher than this one. So then you've got a three-in-one there. Yeah, I like that. So that would go like that. Then you would put another one, and I'm going to flip this over just so you can see. Well, I guess you can't really see it on white. But then that, make it a little bit taller so it'll sit out like this. And then you'll put a third one there. Well, that might interfere with the pocket on the back, huh? You might come into a problem. So I guess you would probably just want to do one or the other. Make it a double pocket this way or a double pocket this way. One on the top. And probably one on the side. I think that would look really nice. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what we can put on here. Is there anything we can do to dress this up? Um, I think those are so cute. I can't wait to find a project that I could use those on. Those little sweaters, they're so adorable. I kind of like that. What if I cut this down? Because it's a little bit big. I won't know until I do it, but I hope I don't cut this away and then don't like it. 
then I'll have a harder time to find a home for it probably. But let's see. Yeah, you could put an additional pocket there. Because I don't want to. What if I do it slanted? I kind of like that. Slanting it again. That just takes your eye in a different way, you know? Just takes your, makes your eye look at something differently. So that's kind of nice. What if I back that with book page? Since we're using book page, let's see how that would look. Let me tear off a piece. And just get a look here. Because this dark, and then that's dark, to kind of offset that. Yeah. What do you think? I think so. Okay, we're going to do that. Um, so all I'm going to do is run some glue in and be generous and put that right down. And then we're going to cut away. About a sixteenth of an inch border all the way around. And that glue stick disappears, dries clear. So when that dries, that purple will go away. Okay, so let's take that away. And just the smallest of border all the way around. Flatten that out a little bit. Yeah, I think that kind of, still kind of dark, but I don't know. Let's see. Notice this bright green, that bright green might have done a little something. No. No, it does nothing. It does nothing. What I've got in this paper pad. Oh, look at that. There's some labels. Or could be labels, should I say? Look at that. Let me, um, why don't we put one of those on the front there? Um, I'll cut right here and see which one will work. See how that looks. No. What about maybe a button? A button just caught my attention. I think a button might look cute there. Yeah. Let's go with a button. We don't have any thread. I'm gonna have to do a fake bow on that once I get that glued down. Yeah, I like that. And I'm just gonna do a fake bow and find some twine and tie that in there. And then we'll put this down here. And I'm just gonna flip it over and do a trim. Like that. 
come in just a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so let's put that down and I'm not going to ink those edges because I do want it to stand out as a separation against those two dark green colors. So I'm not going to ink that. Put that right down there. I like that. Okay. I think that would be overkill. So then on the back of here, we can just do um, blank paper, craft card stock, um, coffee dyed paper, tea dyed paper um, on the back of there. And let me see if I have, I have a piece of my book here that we could get away with using. And I'm just gonna measure it. Like so. And cut it down. And that'll be it, guys. Okay. And we got a journaling spot. Right on there. Trim that down a little bit more. Perfect. Ink that up and we're all done. So I hope you like the project today, guys. I'm calling it my funky fold pocket with the tag and journaling spot. So you know, let's try something not so normal and so um, standard. You know, it's just a simple pocket, but I think by just doing just a, something a little bit different is on the fold, I think it makes just a huge, huge difference. Okay, so I hope you like the project today. I hope you give it a try. I hope you have some fun with it. You know, do some uh, modifications as you see fit to fit the best in your journal. Like I said, add that little extra tuck spot there. Um, you know, whatever you want to do. Oh, you know what? I have right here. Hold on just a second before I let you go. I have this stamp that I was using. It's just of a reindeer hugging a tree. What if we just do a stamp right along the back there? cute is that look at that very cute okay you know we can go one step further and color that in with some alcohol markers you know touch it with some heat embossing heat emboss whatever you want to do really so there we go guys my funky fold pocket with a tag okay i hope you like the project today i hope you give it a try have some fun with folding um, different ways and just get a different look out of your pockets. Okay. Thank you so much for watching today. God bless. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.